If you are curious about any of these products, then you should keep on watching. Hi guys, I'm Diana Grace and welcome to my channel. On my channel you can find mainly K-beauty related videos, so if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Now let's start with the reviews. In February, my boyfriend and I were in London for a weekend and I bought some Korean beauty products and I showed them in a K-beauty mini haul uh, at the end of a video and also I showed some pictures on my Instagram. So some people were requesting me to review them after a while and now it has been a while so I just figured that I would review them today. Now I have already briefly reviewed the sheet masks on my Instagram and I also throw them away while well, the packaging yeah and all that. So I just have to show you the pictures. But nevertheless I will review the products today. Well this mist does its job. It hydrates. It also delivers a fine mist. The packaging is cute and I love the smell. I think that it smells like strawberry candy or something. I don't know, I just really find it exciting when I'm, whenever I'm using it because it smells so good. Uh, I still do prefer the Benton Honest Tea Tea Mist. Well, I haven't tried a lot of different facial mists, but I still prefer the Benton one because I just feel that it has better ingredients and that it does more for my skin. But other than that, this is a decent mist and if you're just looking for a very cheap and a mist that just hydrates and smells good, then you could try this one out. Now, this is a fascinating product. It comes out in a mousse form, but once you spread it out on your skin, it becomes an oil. And the oil is not even greasy. When I spread it out on my skin, it just, I just find that my skin absorbs it almost right away. So when I have moisturized my whole body, I feel that I can actually put on my clothes almost immediately. And I love that. Because I, I'm not a very big body moisturizer person, if I can say that. I have never ha experienced very dry skin on my body. Recently I have experienced a bit of a dry skin on my back, but that's about it. So I have always been concerned with skincare on my face, but never on my body. But I'm starting to care a little bit more about that. But I don't want any moisturizers that feel greasy, that takes forever to sink into the skin. And that just, yeah, that moisturizers that are just a hassle to work with. That is why I really like this one because it, it's so easy, it's fun, it's hassle-free, and yeah, it's it's great. The only downside about this product is the price and the longevity of the product, because well, I, I I'm not sure how many times I've used it, but I think that I've used it about seven to eight times about that amount and I am already almost done with it and it cost around $25 so the price versus the longevity I just don't think that it's worth, worth enough for me to actually repurchase the product which kind of makes me sad because I like the product in itself just so much so yeah, that's sad. <laughs> but if you don't care about the price, then I I would just go for it. It, it is a, an awesome product. Okay, so now we have the sheet masks left. Let's start with the leader's sheet mask. This really fascinated me. It was very different than all the other sheet masks that I've tried when it comes to the mask itself. I'm used to the microfiber, I think that, it's, that is what it's called, you know the regular cotton sheet masks and uh, that is what I'm used to. So when I tried this one from Leaders I was a bit shocked because first of all it feels very... Uh, well, 
what what can I say? It's very thin and very very soaked in essence, and the the mask itself feels like plastic almost. I just felt that I had a plastic wrap on my face, uh, which was a bit weird. But what I did like about that was it adhered to my skin very well so it didn't slip or slide anywhere uh, and considering the amount of essence that I was soaked in that was kind of fascinating so yeah it was a bit weird but not in a bad way I think so uh, the, when it comes to the result I found that it had a uh, well, it, it was, the result was nice. I felt that it evened on my skin a bit and my skin looked more plump and hydrated and it felt very soft. So, so yeah, so I liked it. So I had three different sheet masks from Too Cool for School. They were all from the same line there, I something line. And I had the ones for pore pores uh, for hydration and for plumping or anti-aging I don't remember um, but yeah so they were supposed to do three different things but actually I didn't see much of a difference between them I know that some people do but I didn't so I feel that they were pretty much the same for, for my skin but what I did like about them is that they hydrated my skin a lot while they were literally soaked in essence those as well like they were dripping down my neck so I just had to do like this <laughs> but uh, yeah um, and those also made my skin very hydrated smooth or soft I mean and a bit more plump and yeah all that so so yeah those were good as well I don't have much more to say about those the, uh, those are both the one, ones from Too Cool for School and the one from Leaders I know that people rave about them all the time and that they are the people's holy grail sheet masks well they're not exactly there for me I actually do prefer the Claire's one, although I've only tried it once, and the Innisfree ones. Um, but other than that, they were great sheet masks. So if you want to try them out, you should. So yeah, that's what I have to say about that. So yeah, that was what I had to say about the products that I bought in London. As you have probably noticed, there are many pros and cons for all of the products, uh, but I do I have enjoyed every single one, especially the Egg Mousse Body Oil from Too Cool for School. I just really wish that it was either cheaper or that it had a uh, much longer longevity. But yeah, uh, th that is the only con for that one. Um, but I did enjoy the products. I am glad that I have tested them out because people rave about them all the time, especially the sheet masks. So now I know my opinion on them. So I hope that would be that this has been a bit helpful for you. Now over to the question of the day. What are your favorites among these categories? And those categories are body moisturizers, facial mists, and sheet masks. I would love to know, so please share in the comment section, section down below. And that would also help other people who are searching for this, for similar products. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. As always, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!